we run the mrp then we got the planned orders okay now then we will do the convert to production order we will convert planned order to production order now the plan order is that one that uh, uh, the plan order you you already created right yeah system created we are not created just uh, we will see these in md04 no to create a separately you want to create planned order there is separate transaction code is there but here we are not created the planned order system generated mrp generated planned orders to create if you want you can create a manually the planned order also to create a planned order manually the transaction code is md11 md11 i see okay yeah okay This is MD11 transaction code. Okay. So here manually can create. What is the reason means? Uh, some people want just now they want to create one order to manufacture a product. Okay. They can directly create. So in my previous session we saw how MRP is calculating in the back end. Okay, so these are the steps it will follow. First is the net requirements calculation, then it will follow lot size calculation, then procurement. Based on the procurement setting, either you will get a planned order or purchase requisition. Then you another next step is scheduling. So scheduling will calculate what is the start date and end date. Okay, fourth step we have another step that is fifth step. It is BOM explosion. BOM explosion. Yeah. Okay. So, our what is this BOM explosion? I will explain you now. So, our product is Honda car. Okay. BOM means bill of material. So this car is having example like engine and tire. Yes. Okay. This car is having the engine and a tire. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes not in real time, this engine also will have a BOM. Right. Okay or you can say only you can imagine only these two no problem okay in this example now yeah, tire has also BOM. yeah BOM will have character okay now we in the initial screen which material we enter when you run the mrp honda car car we enter correct honda car we enter but system is generated purchase requisition for tire also correct purchase requisitions for tire also it is generated if you want to see you can see in md04 i am changing the material code so you can see for honda car system is generate purchase requisitions also how system is identified this purchase to calculate this for this material also this can, is, you, can you go back put the Honda Honda car again, please? Yeah. For a Honda car, it is a PLD ward planned orders. For a tire, it is purchase request. Can I move? Okay. Honda car is uh, plan order Correct. and uh, Honda yeah. tire is purchase requisition. Correct. Okay. 
tire uh, tire we are procuring from outside okay okay so when we run the mrp we are not selected tire but still it is calculated okay it is calculated means it is created the purchase request how it is happened is because one thing is it in the fifth step it will read what is a bom explosion means it will read the what is the bom of this car so bom is tire okay it will read and for this tire again it will follow all these steps for tire again it will follow all these steps and create here purchase request so this conversion of planned order to production orders you can do in a different ways you can convert this into a different in a different transaction course yeah you have multiple transaction course to convert this production order to a planned order to production order one is stock requirements list that is md04 another one is uh, i will so the path for another two transaction course is logistics production mrp yeah convert to production orders so another thing is individual connection conversion and collect to conversion individual conversion this is co40 and third one is a collect to conversion that is co41 these are the different transaction codes we can use okay so whatever the transaction you are used the purpose is same and it will do the same activity only thing is md04 this is nothing but our stock requirements list so you will enter our purchase what are the material okay and you have this planned orders okay for example you want to convert this planned order 5763 with 100 quantity so you click on this details button you will get this screen so here you can see one button arrow prod what it's a description convert a planned order to production order okay you can click this button which button the production order yeah production order button the refresh button in the top okay okay click on this so this 5763 will disappear and this production order will come here okay, yes, okay. because yes, we already converted this okay yes, I'm just clicking on say uh, refresh button you can see now this is the PRD word means it is a production order okay and this is the your production order number So in initial screen, this is the initial screen for CO40. Here, you need to enter the planned order number. Okay. Okay. In MD04, 
just you know the planned order you just click on the production order but here you need to enter which planned order you want to convert that planned order number you need to enter here uh, okay. six six one or something whatever not that is production order okay so to know about your planned order again you need to go to the md04 stock requirements list okay and here you take any of the one planned order like fine seven six four you can take any one planned order you need to take you copy five seven six four and now you go to the co40 transaction code and enter here your planned order number okay okay now press enter now same production order creation header screen will come okay and click on save button just one, one second i go to yeah step yes. Yes. okay so this is saved now so if you go to the md04 our stock requirements list mm -hmm. you can see that order uh, 5764 is we created earlier this planned order now converted so i'm just refreshing it this 5764 will disappear and that production order will come now i'm just refresh click on refresh now you can see it is replaced with your production order okay perfect okay so now is it clear these two yes. transaction codes now yes. for example you have 100 planned orders we have 100 planned orders now you want to convert all 100 so is it possible for you to use this transaction code now that's collective yeah. correct now we have another transaction code called collective okay that collective you can use for multiple planned orders conversion the so, transaction code is CO41. So that collective can be used for multiple materials also. Not only the same material, you can use for multiple materials. CO41, this is the transaction code you can see selection screen. Collective conversion of planned orders. Yeah. Okay. Here you can enter plant and controller is important role here okay. uh, plant, say, say again what's uh, what is the important yeah mrp controller so you have a planners three planners i want to convert my own orders only right. so how to identify that is mrp controller your materials will identified with your mrp controller you can select that okay and then here if you want to enter material you can enter the material yeah but when you have a collective uh, collective plan order and mm -hmm. your materials are uh, like uh, 10 different materials how you can yeah. add the material so here you cannot add the material mm -hmm. only enter the your mrp controller so where we get the mrp controller in the material master oh i see in the material master you will assign the mrp controller so if you have only one, one material like honda car you can directly enter this honda car if you have multiple materials don't enter the material only enter here mrp controller okay. Okay. 
this is your selection screen and then click on execute so now here once you execute this screen will appear select to conversion planned orders list now here system will display all your planned orders okay you can see okay we have five seven six zero six one six two three planned orders we have if you want to see in stock requirements list you can see what are the left planned orders one two and three three planned orders left correct so all these three planned orders are appearing in collective conversion. Now system is showing all orders. For example, you don't want to convert the last one. You want to convert these two first two only. You want to convert first two only. So then you can select which are you want to convert. Okay. you will select which are you want to convert. convert yeah here in the starting you can click on the selection buttons here these two you select these two and click on convert button I see. you can see in the top convert button is there you click on that okay i'm clicking this convert button so casting error showing okay yes yes so you can see after conversion these two tick marks has come green it, tick mark it that means, means these two orders correct so yes. here you can see two orders are created these are production order okay and the last one is it is not converted so now if you go to the stock requirement list you can see two production orders are converted i am refreshing it now you can see only one planned order you have okay Is it clear this step? Any questions? Your voice is not you clear. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Now would be fine. As soon yeah. as you go, as soon as you have all the planets ordered, uh, in okay. the MD zero, MD zero four. In this yeah. case. You should convert all of them to production order or not necessarily you convert what you have for three months in the future or one month in the future or three months in the future or how the people work on Yeah, in real time, generally we won't convert all planned orders. Okay, we will convert maybe next two weeks orders or next one month orders only. Okay. Okay. So then okay. in that case, how i should identify those okay so that you can identify you can see here in collective conversion you can enter the date range also yeah okay an opening list okay by opening this okay perfect so you can select for example which are the orders from tomorrow to next month 15th you want to see one month orders okay you can yeah. select okay and execute so only one order is there it is showing okay, okay great like this okay. you can enter okay okay great yeah okay so this is the difference of these three transaction codes as per business need we can use the three different transaction codes is it clear yeah okay